guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our not so buried challenge. In the last video, holy crap, we got abducted again and we're gonna have another alien baby and I, I'm still in disbelief. I cannot believe this happened, but we are getting close to the end of mint gen. So very soon we are going to be moving Primrose out and leaving Andy with all of her alien spawn. <laughs> so yeah, today I'm hoping that we can max our career and I'm really hoping that we can find the last element that we need. I got some tips from some some of my friends on Twitch that have been doing this challenge. So I'm gonna try and uh, yeah, try to implement them in today's gameplay. I did make a few changes to the house. So I'm excited to show you guys that. I don't have a Celsius today. I have the Cosmic Stardust Alani new, but I have it in a glass today because I forgot to put one in the fridge and I wanted it to be cold. So I have, just look at how gorgeous this is though. This purple energy drink in this like, minty turquoise cup <laughs> but yeah cheers to you guys cheers to this video i'm very very excited to be filming today i miss you all so so much and i'm just thankful for this time that i have to film so let's get into it all right guys here we are back in the not so berry household i am so 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 excited to be here today you guys i have thought about this let's play every single day since the last one what are you doing silly bean what is he freaking out about what? I see nothing. Oh, you're just being silly. All right, go off. Anywho, so I changed out the couches in here to the new live and rum couches. If you guys don't have this CC pack by Felix, Andre, and Harry, I highly recommend. This stuff is so good. I like this decanter and cups thing. Is that a decanter? I don't know. I just love that thing. The remote, so good. This chair, delicious. These couches, just, oh, they're just so good. What else do we got? What else do we got? What else did I add from this pack? That stack of magazines right there. This clutter item right here. It's like a catch-all tray with some cute keys. It's just a fantastic pack, y'all. But let's head upstairs because I did make some um, changes to the layout of the rooms and everything because Andy is pregnant again, so I had to figure out a way to fit another child in this home. So we now have a hallway right here through this door. We have the bathroom still. And over here we have the... This is going to be Bud and <laughs> the soon-to-be-born baby's room. Uh, it's a little plain right now because I ran out of money, but uh, yeah, this is what I was able to get so far. It's actually quite blank in here, but <laughs> that's okay. And then through this door, we have Primrose's room. I decided to make her room just her to spoil her a little bit, you know? I gave her a lot of the same stuff that was in the room before, but I really like the layout of this room. I love how it looks very cluttered and detailed but in, in in a neat way if that makes any sense at all i love this accent wall as well i don't know and she's got like a great view look at that view imagine having this freaking view you guys so spoiled i swear <laughs> but yeah those are the changes that i made i hope that you guys like i also gave her a one of these uh one of these science tables. Okay, she's back. She's back. How, how's your bar? Okay, so yeah, I definitely think that we're going to get a promotion today. She just needs to have another breakthrough. She wants to watch Simder, though, because she's very stressed about friend balance crashing. Oh, no. She needs amusement as well, and she's stressed from work. Oh, all right. Well, I'll let you watch Simder then. Um, so at, as soon as I open this game up... Primrose maxed her mental skill, so that's very exciting. She also maxed her social skill. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, start a club gathering so that, oh my gosh, we have so many club points. Holy cannoli. Let me let me spend some, cause wow. <laughs> just wow. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the, uh, let's get the creative boost for, the, for children. Let's get, um, where's the other children's one? Motor boost, sure. Let's also get, what skills does Rose Jen have to max again? Hang on, let me uh, refresh myself on these rules because honestly, I already forgot. It's been so long. You guys, if I had my way, I would film a video for you every day. But 
You gotta do what you gotta do in life, you know? Okay, Rose Jen, hot-headed, snob, and romantic, aspiration, serial, romantic, career, politician, uh, master the charisma skill. That's it. Just the charisma skill. Okay, well, that's easy enough, I guess. So I guess I'm just gonna grab the charisma boost then. Why not? And, um, oh my gosh. Hmm, when we move, we're gonna have to start another club to continue getting points. <sighs> okay, I think we have all the child skill boosts, which is great. I'm gonna grab a focus club vibe um, a couple of times, I guess. And let's get this strongest camaraderie mood as well. What else? Ooh, this will increase your performance gain at work while your sim is part of this club. Yes, definitely want that. Also want this one because when they meet sims, their um, relationship starts higher. So that's clutch as well. Okay, fantastic. We doing good. I really want to see what she can do at this table now that she has a very high mental skill because I've never done this before. Stink drink, emotion potion, health potion. Let's grab an, they're doing emotion potion. Maybe she sees Andy doing all of her little, uh, <laughs> little like uh, potions or not potions, but like, uh, what are they called? Serums, little serums. And she's very interested in doing it herself. I'm gonna assign this bed to him and get him to go to sleep over here. Primrose, this is your bed. And the new baby that comes will sleep here. So how's that emotion potion going? <laughs> She's in a really bad mood, so I don't even know if it's gonna freaking work, but thought I'd try it anyway. Um mm, Little Primrose made a delightful concoction to get those emotions flowing. It's now in Primrose's inventory. How cute is that that kids can make serums? I wonder what happens when she drinks it. I'm gonna get her to drink it after she uses the potty. Oh my gosh, why are you sad? Wait, did you drink it on the toilet? Homework champion from completing home. Wait, what's this? Bubbling confidence. That concoction was a real confidence booster. Oh, well, very nice. Very nice. Do extra credit. Andy, what are you doing? Oh, you're sleeping. You poor baby. Yeah, you have really bad energy. Okay, okay. Well, let's just go to sleep then. Do we have work tomorrow? Work in three days. Okay, so we have a little bit of a break. So the tips that I got from my, my friends who are also doing this challenge is to really use the cloning machine and we haven't used it that much in this Let's Play and we really should be. So if we make a need fixer, we have one right here, we can clone this instead of having to like rely on making a new one all the time. So I think I'm gonna get, when she wakes up, I'm gonna get her to clone a bunch of these. Hopefully it works, but uh, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> Also, uh, the, what was it? The last element that we need is called like Plumbobius or something like that. And you get Plumbobius from, shoot. I threw away the post-it note that told me. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see, 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 let's see. Here we are, here we are. Rare elements, Plumbobus. Trying to describe Plumbobus is like trying to bite your own neck. It is impossible. Plumbobus is so unique, never been done. It is amazing. Plum Babas is a rare element that is worth 80, 80 simoleons. You can find it in three metals, Sadnum, Simtanium, and Romantium. Okay, let me rewrite this down. Do you guys like my pen? It's a kitty. So whenever we find these elements, clone them, and it'll just give you a better chance of getting Plum Babius. Oh, nope, did I, did I? Sadnum, Simantium, and Romantium, mm-hmm. Oh, it could also be found in Plumby and Jet. Ah, right. So I think my main idea for this was to um, like max our career and go to go to uh, go to uh, what's the freaking planet called? Sig Sam, and try to find it there. I don't know if we still need to do that, but I guess we'll find out. What are you doing, sweets? A ham and cheese sandwich? Okay, you do that. What other skills can we work on? Your creativity and your motor. <gasps> wow, you could, wow, wait, you can, you're, whoa, she can already work on her charisma, y'all. We can get like a massive head start on this if we wanted to. She can pra practice speech, love. Practice your speech. Let's get this freaking skill up. I'm stoked. Andy, what trimester are you in? Why doesn't it say you're pregnant anymore? That's strange. 
I swear I didn't delete the pregnancy, you guys. I promise. I know that sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but like, I swear I did not delete the pregnancy. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, Andy, time to get up. Let's, uh, let's eat this other half of the sandwich that Primrose made. And let's see. Let's see if we have any of the metals that we need right now. Okay, we don't. Do we have Satinum, Romantium, or, or uh, Simtanium anywhere? Okay, we don't. All right, no problem at all. No problem at all. I think we'll just need to like maybe go out and dig places. Wait, is she? Does she look pregnant to you guys? Yeah, she does. Oh crap, she just ate ham. Why do I keep doing this? Oh my gosh, I just freaking forget that she's bloody vegetarian. I don't know how I forget. I'm just gonna... You know what? I don't even know. What? You're gonna go swing right now? It's gonna make you even more sick. Please come over here and throw up. I made a big mistake. Okay, come upstairs. Let's uh, try to clone this. Yes, girl. Keep practicing that charisma skill. And let's see if this cloning will work. Queen! It freaking worked. Okay, let's do it again. Again. How about again? Yes! We are harnessing our freaking scientific powers, y'all. We really are. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Just keep going. I wonder if things can go horribly wrong with this cloning machine. I don't even know, but I'm, I'm willing to experiment to find out. Just don't die, Andy, okay? That's all I ask. Sometimes we get these nasty blocks, but like, it's fine. You just do it again. This cloning machine, big hacks, y'all. Big sim hacks. Okay, fantastic. So, what do you need, love? Hunger and fun. All right, well, let's come downstairs. Let's make some breakfast. I know that you had that ham and cheese sandwich, but like, disgusting, you're a vegetarian. Okay, let's have some fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, homegirl's definitely pregs, so I thought we might have gotten away with it, but nope, it's back right here. Weird tummy ache. That is not the vibe. Wait. Can you drink Need Fixers, my love? Because I know that kids can't have... Oh my gosh, we have 14 of them. I know that kids can't have uh, potions of plentiful need... <gasps> she can have a Need Fixer. Oh my gosh, big sim hacks, you guys. Holy crap, we are killing it. Okay, come on over here and practice your speech some more. Don't stop until I tell you to, okay? Just don't stop until I tell you to. <laughs> we are gonna max our charisma skills so freaking early. Just get that out of the way, you know? So we don't even really need the spinach plants anymore if we can just clone the need fixers. <gasps> yes, we have the breakthrough, blah, blah, breakthrough that we needed. I'm gonna get her to drink one of these need fixers because she's just straight up not having a good time. <gasps> no! Are you freaking kidding me, y'all? Pregnant Sims can't have serums. Oh my god, that is not sim hacks at all. Holy cannoli, I'm actually pissed off. I'm very angry. I am so angry, I'm about to quit. Gossip about aliens, please don't do that. He's an alien, relate to his feelings though. Gossip about aliens to your alien child? What even? Yes, girl, charisma level three. Get it. I'm gonna need you to chat with him. Share insecurities, get to know. Brighten his day, let's get that social up, you know? <gasps> you guys, look who's here. I think this is one of y'all's sims. I gave her a makeover and I put her in the game. Uh, we've never met her before though. Her name's Ileana Lacey. Let's, uh, let's invite her in. Let's have some chats with her cause she's so, so, so cute. Not really sure why she's knocking at our door today, but it's nice to meet you, gal. How's your day going? Ahoy me matey. <sighs> Another friend. I'm excited. Oh my god, she just hit on us. Why? Why do you have to make it weird? Can't we just be friends? I forgot to check the calendar. How could I forget the calendar? Talent showcase and talk like a pirate day tomorrow. <gasps> Oh my gosh, tomorrow is Primrose's birthday. Oh man, we need to get the ball rolling on this mint gen. Okay, fair enough. Well, um, 
Let's see. Generation 2 Rose. You had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. Um, you have no maternal instincts whatsoever, but still love your child with all your heart. Okay, fair enough. I can't believe tomorrow's her birthday, though. That went by so fast. How about all those aliens that freaking came over last episode? <laughs> That was so strange. I really hope the satellite is still preventing abductions right now. I'm gonna get her to do that really quick because I'm scared. She's pregnant right now currently, but still. I would just rather it not happen again. A lot of you guys want uh, Primrose to have a teen pregnancy. I for So for Primrose, I just had this idea of like living the single life alone in an apartment and just like being alone for a while. I guess we could do both. Cause yeah, her spawn has to be best friends with Mint. So we need to make sure that we have enough time for that. Also, <laughs> you guys said that the, the yellow gen master or does the nerd brain aspiration. So it's kind of pointless for me to be doing it with Andy right now. I just kind of wanted her to get like more aspiration points for some reason. I'm not sure why. Just something to do in the spare time. Bud, why are you watching her? Oh, you gotta go potty. Um, you can use the downstairs toilet. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, okay. Come over here and use this one. Ah, ah, thank you. Excuse me. Holy cannoli. I feel another one coming. I feel it coming. I feel it coming, babe. Okay, okay. How's your mood? pretty bad. I'm gonna give you another fixer just because I can and Andy can't have any right now. So you get them all. You get a fixer. You get a fixer. Everyone gets a fixer. All right. Feeling good in the neighborhood? Fantastic. Keep practicing your speech. Um, tomorrow we will celebrate your birthday. Oh my gosh, where'd Andy go? What are you having? Garden salad? <laughs> all right then. Get it, girl. Honestly, twirl that bowl. <gasps> Cooking level 10! Roast chicken and tuna casserole. She can't have either of those things. Wait, you really did not just... Oh, what the? You made a salad and then poured yourself some poppy corn? I mean, I can relate, but like, eat what you made. <laughs> you eating a salad with a with some chopsticks? A vibe. Oh, oh my god, excuse me. That burp just came out. I apologize. We need pictures of the babes. Do we have a camera? I should buy them a camera, huh? Can I get you to go to work today? I really just want to get promoted again and I need more elements. I'm just having her practice analysis because I, I don't know what else to do at this point. It's the only thing that's bringing us closer and closer to finding the last element. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Primrose is upstairs still practicing her speech. I'm just letting Bud do whatever. He's playing Sim Scuffle. You do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have her have another need fixer, of course. And keep on practicing your speech, my love. Don't stop. <laughs> we are gonna max this skill in no time. We are already well on our way to level six and she's only a child. We are gonna rock this gen. Do you guys like chewing ice? I love it. I know it's horrible for your teeth, but I do love it. I don't know where this money is coming from. Who is doing this? Is it you? <gasps> Oh my God, I disabled the dust, but do you, how are you get? how are you getting money from it? Are you at, I guess you can become friends with the dust bunnies. I thought I disabled the dust though. That's weird. I know that these packs are like extremely glitched, but where are we getting this money from? This is, this is so strange. Cause I know if you ask the dust bunnies to search for valuables, they'll fuck. But he's like doing it over and over and over. Dust Bunny dug through heaps of dust to find money. What? A mysteriously pristine fruit or vegetable? What? Whoa. This Dust Bunny just found us a uh, elderberry, a perfect elderberry. I think this grows into a tree. I'm like very, uh, intrigued right now whoa what is happening down here cheese and fries there's a dust bunny down here as well oh my gosh wow okay well i really want to grow this tree should we grow it inside let me get a uh, planter 
<laughs> we really gonna grow a whole tree inside. Hopefully it lets us. She was a day tripper. One way ticket, yeah. It took me so long. Find out. Yeah, I found out. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, hmm. Actually, does our backyard have an overhang? Yes, there's an overhang right here. Okay, hopefully we can plant the tree in here without any issues. Oh my god! Wow! No, don't eat it! What's this? Baby kick. Oh my gosh, she's starting to have baby kicks. Okay, come plant this. Oh no, our TV is broken. Come repair it because we don't have enough money to replace it. Please work. Yes, it worked. Oh my gosh, fantastic. Okay, repair the TV, then come water the tree. I don't know what an elderberry is going to do for us, but uh, I'm intrigued. Oh my gosh, you're hungry. Have, have a grape. Have a, a, a green pea. Have a bell pepper. I don't care. Just eat all the veggies in your inventory and water this. Okay, what do you have to do now? Water the rest of the plants? All right, that's fine. I am very angry right now. I disabled the dust and yet the dust is still present. <laughs> Ouchies. And why are we, why do we keep getting money? Where is that even coming from? Bud is sleeping. Primrose is practicing her speech. Hmm, I mean, I'm not complaining, but that's a very strange glitch. Oh my God. I totally forgot. I'm a terrible mom. Holy crap. I completely forgot about her birthday. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to leave the snob trait for when she ages up into a, uh, a young adult. So we're going to give her the romantic trait right now. I can't believe I freaking forgot. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad. Okay. Serial romantic. <sighs> How could I freaking forget her birthday? I'm just so scatterbrained right now, I swear. Okay, serial romantic, hot-headed, and romantic. All right, queen. I apologize. Oh my god, look. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry for forgetting your birthday. <gasps> look at her. She's just straight up not having a good time. Depressed from being bullied at school. Forgotten birthday. Insecure. Oh, queen. Okay, okay. Well, Let's head into cast. Let's give you your teen makeover, which I am so excited about, but... Oh my gosh, I feel so freaking bad for forgetting her birthday. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this freaking girl right now. Holy cow, what is this? What are these eye bags? What are these eye bags? I'm scared. That's a nightmare feel right there. All right, let's work on your disguise first because you definitely wear your disguise more than your alien form. A lot of you guys were saying that she's still a little bit self-conscious of her alien form, but Bud is not, which is why he never wears his disguise. I think it's kind of cool to have like a little bit of each there. So let's get rid of all this nonsense. Let's see. Wow. Beautiful. Um, and let's have a look at your face. I can already tell you look so much like Andy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So much like Andy. It's kind of crazy. No! Enough with the freaking disguise. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, I am so excited to give you your makeover right now, girl. You have no idea. But let's first and foremost start off with the skin detail. I really, really like this butterish one. This is so beautiful. I think... I think Hazel was what she had when she was a toddler and a child. Shoot. Let's work with this one. A little bit something different, yeah? So many of you guys said that Primrose is actually a yellow flower. I had no idea, but Rose is an actual name. I guess that's really all I care about. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't decide. Uh, holy crap. I think I'm going to go with those. I think they look... The most natural she could really pull off that pc that pc look you know and i know our girl had freckles when she was younger so i'm definitely gonna keep that going what's this Ooh, some beautiful face shine let's go Ah, 
Wait, oh my god, what, this piece of CC is amazing. This is called a, the Face Kit by Pixis. Right here, Pixis. <gasps> okay, I'm obsessed with this because it has like these like lip puckery thingies. Oh my god, wow. <gasps> Wait, this CC is freaking amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes. It has all kinds of different like shines and shadows that just really take your sim from zero to 100 super quick. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted to use these like these puckers because they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yes! I get so excited for new CC sometimes, you guys. You don't even know. I don't even know like what kind of style of like like uh you know like clothing style, makeup style she should have. She's gonna be a politician, so I'm kind of thinking very I want to say Hillary Clinton, but no, not Hillary Clinton. Um, just very like print proper, but Andy's more like I want to say like um. Oh gosh, why can't I ever put my thoughts into words? It's just it never works for me. She's more like high end fashion kind of materialistic proper, while I want Primrose to be like more scholarly proper. Um, if that makes any sense at all, I really hope so. In real life, if you're gonna be a politician, do you have to have like a squeaky clean record? I don't know why I have that thought in my head. Like she can't do anything bad her whole life if she's planning on being president. Oh my gosh, this though. This reminds me of Jessica Rabbit. Oh, what about the headband hair? <gasps> this kind of screams scholarly to me. I don't like how the hair does this. <laughs> It might bug me enough to just completely change the hair, but let's go ahead and try and find her something to wear first of all. So I'm thinking a very something very distinguished like this number. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. I don't know, like something like this maybe. I don't know. This is going to be this is gonna take me forever, y'all. I already know it. I already know it. We could totally do preppy for her. I'm thinking. I rarely do preppy sims. So maybe we can switch it up a bit and go ahead and do that. Aw, I mean, yeah, yes, you do. A ton of red swatches, like red-ish swatches actually. <gasps> okay. I'm kind of sold on this already. I'm definitely gonna give her like a bunch of outfits, trust. Oh my gosh, cute. That definitely for probably like hot weather or something, but uh, this can be your main outfit. Let's find you some shoes to go with that. I can't just throw Converse or Vans on her, you guys. I can't. Oh, those shoes are so cute, but they do not scream preppy to me. I guess, like, pe people have their own- oh my gosh, those shoes are awesome- have their own opinions about, like, what preppy is. I think I'm gonna give her these white shoes for this outfit, at least. Oh, with these frilly socks. I love these socks. I think I'm gonna go with this headbanded ha head banded hair because it doesn't have those like strings in the front and it just looks, I don't know. I like the way it looks better, I think. But let me change the, the headband color really quick. I'm ashamed to say that I have 60 gigs of CC. 60. Let me know in the comments if you have more than that. I wanna see if any of y'all can beat my record. I know you probably can, Carrie, but <laughs> anyone else? Anyone else over 60 gigs of CC, let me know. Oh, maybe we should put a mint headband. Just like a little naughty nod to, to mom. <gasps> I kind of like that. She is so pretty. Like, look at that side profile. Wow. Wowie, 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 zowie. <laughs> let me give her a pea necklace. Hopefully this works. Hopefully we can see it. Oh my gosh, yes, we can. This is totally preppy. Even though I love these necklaces, I feel like it's like, you know, you guys know what I mean. I think it goes good with her, her style, definitely. You know, this works, cause like the word prim, like prim and proper, prim rose, she'll go by prim probably. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay, she looks nothing like a teen, but it's fine. It's okay. That'll just, it's just giving us less work for when, uh, when we age her up into a young adult. 
She's going to be known for her heart studs and her pea necklace. Okay, I, this is what she's going to wear for her athletic wear. I think we should put her hair up. Definitely going to give her the full body PJs because I literally don't use any other PJs now. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about what where these PJs are from or who makes them and it's Gorilla 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 is the creator. Okay, not the biggest fan of this, but I'll keep it for now. I think I'm going to do this one. This is one of my favorite swimsuits. It just looks so comfy, doesn't it? It's so cute too. So let's do that. And then for hot weather, let's... Oh my gosh, what is all this nonsense? Holy crap. That's going to be her hot weather outfit. And for cold weather, no! Why did it make you bald? Okay, well, I've officially spent way too much time in cast. I'm probably going to make some changes later. And then I'll do her disguise later as well. Because I do want to get into some more gameplay. So here's Prim. I hope that you guys like her. <sighs> okay, I jumped out of the cast hole. Back into some gameplay. So what are you doing? Are you still practicing analysis? You are. When do you have work? Nine hours? All right. Well, let's go upstairs and get you ready for that because you're pregnant. So I need to make sure that your mood is good. Otherwise, you're just straight up not going to have a good time tomorrow. So come and take a bath. Aw, you poor baby. I am so sorry for forgetting your birthday. I am so sorry. It looks like you're thriving on these swings, though. Ugh, I feel terrible. <laughs> I really do. All right, Andy, let's get up. Let's go downstairs and have some breakfast before you have to go to work today. Let's have some spinach frittata. <laughs> that was horrible. <gasps> Sad bomb. No, that is not what we need right now. We need to get promoted today, darling. I'm about to get you a moodlet solver because I cannot handle you being like this. Hopefully you can drink a moodlet solver while pregnant. I swear if you can't. The last time we made a spinach frittata, we didn't have time to eat it. <laughs> Look at her, she's having a spinach frittata and a moodlet solver for breakfast. Oh my gosh, if that's not the biggest mood I've ever seen in my life. And I love how everything is green. <laughs> okay, so fingers crossed we get that last promotion today, you guys, because I really, 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 really want to go to 6am. That's like all I want to do. So I'm gonna work really hard today, okay? All right, so I have, we've been grinding all day. I just have her outside digging up all of these things because we do need that last element. And I think this is definitely gonna help us. <laughs> all of these um, digging options. I haven't checked to see what we've dug up so far, what we've dug up so far. So hopefully, um, hopefully there's something. Fun loving community one. All right, fun loving, let's go. Okay, is there any other places for us to dig? There's some over here. Let's see if we can do in our last hour. Okay, we didn't get promoted today. Oh my gosh, how annoying. $2,500 though, pretty dang good. So I'm gonna go through her inventory now and see if we got any of the uh, things that we need. And if we did, I'm gonna clone the crap out of them and hopefully we can find that last element, y'all. Fingers freaking crossed. Welcome home, my pregnant baby. All right, let's have a look and see what we got. Okay, we got a turquoise, useless. What else, what else, what else? Uh, socialite. Simtanium. <gasps> That's one that we need. Oh my gosh, yes, Pal palinthium and heavy metal. Okay, simtanium. So we need to come upstairs and clone the crap out of this element right now or this metal or whatever it is. No, not punium, simtanium. All right, come on, Andy, let's go. I know you're not feeling well because you're wet and you're pregnant, but are you still practicing your speech? No, you're not. Browsing the web. I want her to have this baby already, holy crap. It's honestly really annoying that uh, we can't have those need fixers while she's pregnant. Like, come on now. Rudimentary matter, how rude. Get it? Love a good pun. For some reason, cloning this metal is not going very well. Oh no, we broke our cloning machine. <laughs> oh, she's about to level up in her handiness though, which is fantastic. Yes, our girl is in labor. Freaking finally, holy cow. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and have the baby at hospital. We're gonna join her because, because I want the freaking cool alien birth certificate. And that's the only reason. 
I have no idea what to name this baby. Yeah, girl. Oh my God, I swear if she's having freaking twins or triplets, I'm just gonna give up on life. I'm rage quitting this whole Let's Play. Come on, Sator Satoru. One kid, just one, please. I'm actually begging you. This Let's Play is extremely chaotic, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was twins. Marty, I'm scared. Oh, that's right, honey. We don't have a son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's a boy. Okay. I have no idea what to name him. You guys, holy crap. I don't know. I guess we can name him something that has to do with red or has to do with Rose since our other kids from this gen have to do with Rose. It'll just make it easier on myself to pick a name. So my other like idea for a boy's name was thorn for bud so maybe we should just use that thorn berry okay oh thank god it's just one holy cow oh my gosh and it's the same alien too you guys hang on let me have a look at the family tree really quick it's the same alien they are definitely in love you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> well, that sure confuses things with Luke, doesn't it? I kind of like the mystery of this alien being up in space and us never meeting her. But at the same time, like, I would love to meet her too and like have a family reunion. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So let's come up here and send all of these to the GO Council. Hopefully one of them comes back as the element that we need. Honestly, who knows though? Can I just get one more clone, please? Just one more and then I'll stop for the day. Thank you very much. Okay, we have all of these to also send to the Geo Council. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, all right. So one of them better come back as the freaking element that we need. If it doesn't, I honestly don't even know what to say. <laughs> She's going to have herself some mac and cheese. You do that. And where's the baby? Oh, poor Thorn down here all alone. I honestly kind of forgot that you existed. But let's bring you back up. Let's put you right here. Oh, I am actually very tempted to send him back to his home planet or whatever it is. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm sure that Andy is happy to have him. I'm I'm just not not even a little bit. <laughs> uh, one of the comments said in the last video, like not gonna lie, but this abduction really annoyed me, and I'm just like freaking same. Have a good day at school, you two. Make good choices. Listen to the teacher. And how is your charisma skill coming along, Primrose? Level six, twenty six percent of the way through. Not bad. Oh my gosh! Wait, Andy has work in one hour, and she doesn't have any of the freaking the fixers oh my gosh i think there's one up here though yes there is okay i'm gonna get her to drink this because her mood is garbage well she did stay up all night having a child so yeah i guess i guess that makes sense i know that the work thing can be very 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 repetitive and monotonous so i always forward through it i hope that you guys don't mind but if something exciting does happen at work i'll be sure to show you i promise <laughs> <laughs> like that uh Nox fight that was so very random she was like let's take out the trash and then they just fought the glitch with this work this job it really makes me mad because it asked me to mix these serums with these veggies and stuff that i don't have and the plants at work never they were never blossom so how am i supposed to do it you know and it wants us to detect aliens oh no oh <sighs> fine gotta do what i gotta do you know we seem to have finished our tasks for today so i'm gonna get her to go outside and dig try to find some more elements <gasps> oh my gosh abby is dying abby i didn't even realize you were an elder why do our co-workers keep dying at work I knew that we were going to use this dead co-worker graveyard more than once. I had a feeling, which is why I named the graveyard. Holy crap, Abby, rest in peace. 
I'm so sorry. We've had a tricky past. We have. You you confessed your love for us, and we totally turned you down, and you got aliens to come and abduct me a bunch of times, because you are an alien yourself. Oh my gosh, there's an alien here crying over her dead body. Oh no. And why are all of our coworkers so pretty? Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oh my gosh. Now everyone's going to be like hella depressed at work. Okay, let's go ahead and throw her back here. Boom. Dead coworker graveyard. Two gravestones. I don't understand why everyone needs to die at work. I don't get it. I really don't. Like, wait till you get home to pass away. <laughs> Be with your family. At least Andy didn't witness it. She doesn't feel sad about it at all, which I think is pretty funny. <laughs> She's like, oh, Abby died? Rip. <gasps> we did it, we did it, we did it, did it, did it. Oh, yes, queen. Extraterrestrial explorer. We now make 32 an hour. We got a cash bonus, an out of this world desktop, and new clothes. <gasps> oh my gosh. I am so excited right now. We maxed it. Did you see her new glasses that she was wearing and everything? Oh my gosh. I'm so stoked. <laughs> we don't even have to have a. We don't even have to worry about work anymore. I'm so stoked. <laughs> oh, last but not least, y'all. That last element. Let me have a look at you, queen. Yeah, girl. Oh my god. She is... She's an icon. And if you disagree, you're just wrong, you know? You are just wrong. Okay, let's get the mail. Actually, we gotta pay our bills. Pay bills. No, Alice, we're, we're busy. We're busy. We're so busy. Get the mail. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys! We did it! We did it! We finished our last two tasks in the span of five freaking minutes. Holy cannoli. Oh my gosh. I just gotta give the biggest shout out to my friend Luke for giving me this tip of cloning the freaking thing that you need and just like send them in and hope hope that you get it back. Cause look, Plumbabas. Oh my God, why is that so satisfying? Oh yes, and we got a loot box, girl. Open. Zareen, Alexandrite, we got another picture, T-Rex, Nebula, and a book! A world without magic. Holy crap, did we really do everything? Let me just double check here. Master Scientist Career, big check. Complete Chief of Mistress Aspiration, big check. Master Mischief and Logic Skill, big check. Complete Elements Collection. Check, check, checkity, check, 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 check! We did it! I'm so happy. Okay, so next order of business would be move. Move out Primrose into, into her apartment. Holy cannoli. Oh my gosh, her mood, it's so bad. Why don't you just drink one of these? Drink one of these instead of just wallowing in filth. Yeah? Ah, oh, yes. Much better. Much better. I wonder. I wonder if we can afford to move out right now. $22,000 for the furnishings. Okay. $22,000. Almost $23,000. Oh no, we're gonna have an alien as a neighbor as well. So what are we gonna have to do? Just keep playing until we have enough money? What if we... Oh, I wonder. If we sold all of Primrose's stuff since the apartment that we have is already like furnished and stuff. Uh, yes, Luke, of course, come over, come over. Um, yeah, let me sell everything in Andy's inventory as well. She's probably like, I'm chill with life. I completed everything that I wanted to do. I'm gonna get Luke to move in with me. We're gonna raise the babies. And yeah, she, I'm, I'm perfectly content with uh, selling all this stuff in my inventory and buying you an apartment so you can live your own life and thrive. Okay, 
So let me select all of the stuff that we just don't need. Hopefully we'll have enough. I think it's so cute that Andy would sell her collection, her elements collection, so that little Primrose here can have her own apartment. What a nice mum. Sell all those freaking capsules. Um, sell all these robot salvage parts. Sell those. Sell the earbuds. Okay, so that's six thousand dollars. So we have ten thousand. Okay, and what happens if we sell everything in Primrose's room? Oh, someone made crafts. If we invite Luke over and ask him to move in with us, will he bring any money? I want you to move in with us, lad. Where are you? <gasps> there he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, okay. Let me see what happens when we ask him to move in. And Bella Goth, why are you here? Oh my god. Share single and loving it tips? No, don't do that. Ask to join households. Please bring some money with you. I know you have a decent job. Okay, so we can transfer some money. You know what? I'm gonna transfer 10,000. This to help us out a bit. <laughs> um, okay, and then all we need is to make a couple thousand more dollars. That is all we need. She's still so sad from everyone forgetting her birthday. Should we get her a job just for those last couple thousand? We can pretend that she's had this job for a while and she's been saving up so that we can like, so that she can move out ASAP. Hmm. Unpaid. No, no, no. Okay, let's do babysitter. 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. I wonder if she can have multiple. Can you have multiple part-time jobs? 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Oh my god, can you have two jobs? No. You know what? I'm gonna switch it to this job so that she has work every day pretty much. And that means we'll get more money. All right, all right. Luke is now a part of the family. Um, him and Primrose's like romance. I mean, not Primrose. Oh my God. Andy's romance is very low. And we definitely need to work on that a bit. Maybe, 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 maybe. She's feeling hungry. So why don't we go out with him on a little date to this new lot that I built on Twitch? It's this restaurant and I really love the way that it looks at night. So let's head on over. It's on the gallery if you guys are interested. Mm, and try to like rekindle this relationship of theirs. So that when we do move out that they'll be happy together and hopefully have kids of their own. Fingers crossed. <laughs> if Sims aren't married and they live in the same house and they're like boyfriend and girlfriend, can they still have babies or do I have to get them married first? Cause I would really like them to have kids of their own. I think it would be cute. Okay, you guys, you ready to eat? Let's grab a table for two. Actually, let me uh, actually click on a table and request it. Let's eat here. No, already claimed. All right, let's get this one then. So this is the lot y'all. It is a very like modern, Bar slash... <laughs> bar slash restaurant? So these tables out here, like on the lower deck, are for eating. Um, like you can request these tables. There's also a bar here. We've got the kitchen here and then up here on the second level. You can't request these tables, but you can still sit here and drink the drinks that you got from the bar. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it though. It's, it's very vibey. <laughs> All right, let's order. It's a vegan restaurant, by the way, so you're not gonna find any like meat thingies on the menu. All right, let's, um, hmm. Let's both get some wine. And then, uh, what do we wanna eat? Oh my gosh, avocado roll for Andy, delicious. And then for Mr. Luke here, veggie yaki soba, that sounds good. All right, let's turn up the romance like right away. Let's give him a flirt and see how he feels about it. Oh my God, that was so fast, unless that's her food. Oh, that's her food. She got pita and hummus tapas, nice. I'll have the veggie yaki soba and I'll have the avocado roll, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <gasps> He took it. Oh my gosh, thank God. Can you please mind your business? I wish there was a way that we can like delete Sims from the conversation. 
Get out. Yo, please just stop. Get out of our group. Oh my god, how awkward. Thank you so much for our food. <gasps> he just gave her a respectful intro while taking her order. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. That looks delicious. Two of my favorite meals right there. All right, eat your roll, Luke. Oh, eat your yakisoba. I mean, are you flirting with her or her or Luke? Like, what is even going on right now? Yes, please leave. Goodbye. Stop. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna tell her goodbye because oh my gosh, how awkward. I'm gonna need you to leave. Okay, goodbye. Do not come back. Holy crap. Just please. Try to have a nice romantical date and you're just here. They better not chat start chatting up with her. Just please don't. Okay, this is going really good. They still seem to be very into each other. It was just wrong place, wrong time uh, before. Oh no. Did I put the tables too close together? Is this gonna be an issue? Okay, what'd you get, love? What did you order? A pretzel and some wine. Oh my gosh, that is big mood. What happened? Our girl loves her wines and drinks, huh? Get off your phone, sir. How rude. All right. End meal, pay bill. Well, let's ask her to be our girlfriend. Maybe, um, where? Where's a very romantic spot? Over here, perhaps? Cute little benchy bench. Why are you coming with us? No! 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 Make Sim leave. Yes. Go away. Oh my gosh. Thank God that worked because, wow. Annoying. Ooh, what is this? That's a restaurant. That's so pretty. Aww. First kiss. They haven't kissed yet? Oh my gosh. Get on it. Honestly, get on it. I just really don't want Andy to be alone. So her being with Luke, I think, is the best option for everyone. She can get some help and not be lonely and... Finally, you guys, finally. My gosh. They've known each other for like, oh my gosh, like 20 years, no, 16 years. Think about that. 16 years. Just think about it. Anji! <laughs> Aww. My babies. My little babies. Let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna miss Andy when we move. You know, one more one more shift for Andy. I think we'll have enough money to uh, move out. So the next Not So Berry episode will be number one for Rose Jen. How exciting is that? I cannot wait. But uh, I think I'm gonna play until we have enough money to move out and then I'll give you guys a tour of the, the Rose apartment and then we will leave it at that, y'all. Oh no, she got food poisoning from the restaurant that I made? That's awful. What do I do about this? Report food poisoning. Oh my gosh, how awful is that? Nothing loosens up those social skills like a little booze. She's feeling very chatty. $204? Yes, please. Anything helps with with uh, what we need. I wish that um, Sims got an extra trait when they max a career. I think that would be fun. Kind of sad that they don't. We don't have to join her at work anymore. That's so nice. I heard you and Luke started dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. Thank you, Alice. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Eliza, you're so pregnant. Congratulations, girl. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I feel like this is all happening very fast, but oh my gosh. Treadmill with a view. Let's get it, sir. With a view of your old house. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Let's invite over Theo. I'm very curious to see if him and Alice are dating. What's up, dude? Happy to see you. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Other Sims, ask about another Sim. Ask about Alice. 
He just said, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Alice. Oh my God. She's still so depressed from being bullied. She probably is getting bullied because she is an alien and she tries very hard to disguise it. But everyone knows that she's an alien because she has Bud and everyone knows that Bud is her brother. Mom needs to get home already so that we can move out. Am I right? Yes. No, we still don't have enough. You're joking. You are absolutely joking, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is worth a lot. Let's sell this. Is there anything in your inventory that we can sell? We almost have enough. Why do they both have T-Rex nebulas in their inventory? Well, either way, I'm selling it. Okay, we almost have enough. Let's sell all this spinach. I just wanted the move to be organic, you know? Ah, I think, okay, yes, we definitely have enough now. Ah. Oh my gosh, Alice is here. Hey girl. Let's ask her about Theo if you made the move yet. Is Theo still here, I wonder? I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Theo. Oh my gosh, yes you did. You guys met at my party. Theo sounds like a catch. I'll introduce him when I see him. Okay, you better. You better. All right, well, let's go ahead and move out Primrose. Holy crap. I can't believe we're already moving. I'm gonna miss this house. I really am. I don't think there's anything that we need though, right? I don't know. What? Please say psych. Please tell me this is a freaking joke. I need to get out of this house. Holy crap. It just makes me mad. It just pisses me off. Bro, I swear. If she is pregnant again, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna freaking leave you to it. Not my problem anymore. It's just not my problem. Holy cannoli. Are you back? No, you're not back. Okay, we need to get back like ASAP because your baby is screaming its head off, his head off. Luke, you're supposed to be helping. Please say freaking psych though. Okay, she didn't hold her belly, but she didn't also didn't do it last time either. <gasps> new baby, okay, new baby. Wait, what's this? Welcoming a life, okay. Andy, are you pregnant? I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna check because we're leaving anyway. Another freaking male alien baby. You guys, that's four kids. Four freaking alien kids were being abducted. Dude, I'm starting to think that she like wants it. I get up. We're moving. We're getting out of this freaking it, cursed by aliens house. I cannot handle this anymore. Holy crap. It's Thorne's birthday. Fantastic. Not my problem anymore. I cannot believe that happened. Of course, one more abduction before we left. Just one more. Just sprinkle in one more. No problem. No problem. <sighs> okay. So I'll give you guys the tour of the apartment and then... In the next episode, we will get started on our Rose Gen. We will take pictures with mom, like have a family family portrait, because I know that there's a mod now where you can have family portraits, so I'm gonna give that a shot. And yeah, then we're gonna get started. I cannot wait. I kind of want Primrose and what's her name? Olivia to be friends, but look at that relationship. And she's a young adult too. Maybe we can rekindle the relationship and she can be like, she can be our best friend because Alice and our mom are best friends. We're gonna be best friends with her. They're gonna be pretty cute. Oh, look at you. Are you freaking ready for life on your own? Are you ready, kids? I can hear you. She looks rather excited to be on her own. Okay, let's head in. Give you guys a tour. So this is the foyer. We have a nice macrame on the wall, a nice mirror. This is like classic Sims have build right here. This 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 storage thing and this mirror <laughs> i just can't help myself okay and then through here we have the living area very cute 
I love it. Around this corner here, we have the bathroom. Boom. Um, come stock with lush pots. Love to see it. Through here, up on this platform, we have the bedroom. Just step up and go na night. Very, very cute. We have a desk for all of our politician uni work. Seeing out the window, the lovely view. Got a nice billboard out there. <laughs> oh, I love this though. We built this on Twitch and you guys helped me out with like the platform thing and the, the curtains you guys wanted and yeah, I just, I really love this space. It's so small, but it's perfect for her. Okay, and then through this walkway here, we have the kitchen. This kitchen took me forever, but I love it. It's, see the apartments, it's red, but it's not like in your face red and it's not aggressively red. So yeah, I like the way that it turned out. Love this light switch CC. So in here we have the coffee corner, so cute. We have this picture because um, Andy is half, not Andy, oh my gosh, Primrose is half Jap Japanese. <laughs> so we have some little uh, elements here and there. This is the little dining space with another fantastic view. And then over here is the kitchen. It's very small, but this is a small apart apartment. So we have a little nice uh, mint homage right there on the counter as well. <laughs> Nice cookbook, nice diffuser. So yeah, that's it. That's the apartment. I hope that you guys like it. Uh, we'll probably like change some things here and there as it gets more lived in, but yeah, y'all. I think this needs a light. There's no light in here, is there? There is not. So I'll add that later. <laughs> but yeah, so holy crap. We are officially in red gen, rose gen. Oh my gosh, selfie in the new apartment! <sighs> That's gonna be it for today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know your thoughts, of course. Yeah, I'm just so happy to start a new, a new gen. I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video. L actually, let me know in the comments what you think that Andy's fourth baby should be named. I need girl names, I also need boy names. So let me know. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.